Welcome back to the Spinning Planet video tutorials. Um, the next series of videos we're going to be adding more content to our pages to make them really come alive and because a web page is more than just text these days I'm going to start off by showing you how to add an image into your web page. So let's get started. We're going to our demo site and here's the page that I want to edit so I'm going to click to edit it in the normal way okay I'm in my page and I want to add uh, an image so I'm going to click somewhere with my my cursor see I put the cursor there and then I'm going to find this button here called insert edit image going to insert an image Let's just scroll this page a bit so we can see. Okay, we first need to tell it where to find that image. So we're going to click this button here to browse for an image. That'll open up another window. And I've, I've found that sometimes this window doesn't open up big enough. So you might need to grab the corner and drag it down so that you can see these buttons down the bottom. Now, the image that I want to insert isn't already on my website in the uh, folder here. So... I need to just browse my local computer and find the image that I want to upload. Click open, so let's put that in there and then I click upload. Okay, so it's uploaded my image. I then select it by ticking here. It shows me a preview over here and then I can select the image. Now just before I go on, I'll mention a little bit about images it's important that you get your image to the right size before you upload it um, because then the web server or the the person's web browser doesn't have to try and resize images as they're going to make, make sure that the pages that people are viewing will, will download quickly and because they want to browse your site quickly they don't want to be sitting waiting for a large image to load on a page so we've got our image, we click select and there's a few other things that I want to do I want to give an, an image description so I'm going to call this basic birdhouse and uh, I'm just going to use that same text there for the title now the image description and title even though they don't show up on your web page they are read by a couple of different things. Google and other search engines read them because they can't see the image they have to read the text of what that image is so it's good for your Google ranking if you have um, good descriptions and some of your keywords in here. Also uh, users that are vision impaired will have accessibility turned on on their computer and their browser will actually read to them what that image is. It'll say basic birdhouse and so on. The other things we want to adjust is our image appearance. Um, for this image I'd like to lay it out on the right hand side of the text and I'm going to give it a bit of padding, what we call a bit of space between them. So I'm going to give it 10 there and 10 pixels there. So that's just putting a bit of space around the image so that the, the text isn't hard up against the image. It makes it look a lot nicer. Um, we're not going to adjust the dimensions because we've already done that before we uploaded the picture. Um, and so that's about all we need to do there. We click insert and it's put it in over to the right, giving the t text a bit of space. Now because this is in a squashed up little window, it's going to look a little bit different to when we actually make the page go live. So let's go and have a look at it. Remember we can uh, do these other options. We've already got a link for our page. We click update. Okay, it's successfully updated. That's good. So now we're going to go and look at our products page. And there we have our image over to the right of the text there. So I'm going to go over that one more time, add in another image for you, just so that you can get a handle on this. So this time I'm going to click down here where I want it and where's that button? Click that 
insert edit button. Now it's, it's insert or edit, so if I had selected an image already, I can then edit some of the properties on it. But I'm actually going to insert one this time again. Okay, my image isn't there, so I need to... Oops. I need to browse for it. Um, advanced Birdhouse. Open. Click Upload. It's uploaded. Select the Advanced Birdhouse. Got the preview. Select. Give it a title and a description, and the appearance this time I'm going to have it to the left with again a bit of spacing between it. And uh, just for fun, I'm going to play around with putting a border in here. We'll put in a, say a two pixel border. Insert so now see it's got the border around it, it's framed it, let's put it in there. Our advanced birdhouse, and we go update page and let's view it. So now we've got our two images laid out on our page and all looking groovy. Just a couple of other things about images. Uh, we can drag them round, so I've grabbed the, see I click to grab the picture and I hold down the cursor and I can then drag it to a different point, at the moment it's sitting there so I might want to put it there like that so it's down the page a bit um, I can also click on it and either hit delete or um, click on edit, I might uh, get rid of that border or something update and it's like that always remember that you can click update the page so that it's saved and that's the basics of putting images on your site thanks for watching this video tutorial from Spinning Planet